learners, this is Teacher Love and Teacher Clarissa. Together, get ready to discover the good, the bad, and the incredible things through science. Welcome to SciHub, where learning science makes sense. How do fertilization takes place? Once a month, the ova mature and exit out of the ovary. These eggs go into fallopian tube and stay there for a while. When sperms coming from the testes of a male happen to enter the tube where the egg lie, one sperm may unite with the mature egg. The union of the sperm and the egg cell is called fertilization. When an egg is fertilized, a new life begins. After fertilization, the zygote or fertilized egg gets implanted in the wall of the uterus. It undergoes cell division. The cell keeps on dividing to form different body parts. The developing and unborn baby inside the mother's womb is called the fetus. It stays there and is nourished by the mother for nine months. And when the right time comes, it is now ready to be born. Today, we have learned that menstruation is the natural process of eliminating blood, uterine tissue, and unfertilized egg from the uterus through the vagina. Menstruation can last between 3 to 7 days. The average menstrual cycle usually lasts 28 to 30 days. Menstrual cycle has 4 phases. Menstrual phase, follicular phase, ovulation, and luteal phase. Side check. Let's begin. Read each question carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one. The shedding of the inner lining of the uterus is called the black. A. Ovulation. B. Menstruation. C. Fertilization. D. Pregnancy. The correct answer is letter B menstruation number two what is the path that blood travels during menstruation a vagina cervix uterus b cervix fallopian tube uterus c uterus cervix vagina d the fallopian tube cervix vagina If your answer is letter C, uterus, cervix, vagina, give yourself a point. Number 3. How many days are there in an average menstrual cycle? A. 40 B. 28 C. 14 D. 7 The correct answer is letter B, 28 days. Number 4. At which phase of the menstrual cycle does menstruation occur? A. Menstrual phase B. Ovulation phase C. Follicular phase or D. Luteal phase If your answer is letter A, menstrual phase, again, give yourself a point. Last question, number five. What will happen to an egg cell if it is not fertilized? A. The egg cell will go back to the ovary. B. The egg cell will be implanted in the uterus. C. The egg cell will stay in the fallopian tube for another cycle. 
D. The egg cells will descend in the uterus, breaks down, and menstruation begins. The correct answer is letter D. The egg cell will descend in the uterus, breaks down, and menstruation begins. For this part, based on what you've learned from our lesson, read and analyze the situation, then supply with the correct date being asked in each number. You may refer to a calendar and the chart of the menstrual cycle as a guide in doing this activity. Christine has a normal menstrual cycle. The last day of her menstruation is August 15, which is also the fifth day of her period. Now, identify the dates of the following events. The first day when the uterine lining was released from the body. The answer, August 11, the first day of her period. Number two, date where period or what we call bleeding stops. Well, the correct answer is August 15. Number three, the date when the ovulation phase took place. The correct answer is between August 24 to 29. Number four, the days covered by the menstrual phase. Well, the correct answer is August 11 to 15. Now for our last question. If her menstrual cycle repeats in a 28-day cycle, when will be the start of her next menstruation? The correct answer is September 7. Good job, five stars! To be reminded about the occurrence of menstruation, counting the days is important. Now, for today's career, obstetricians. Obstetrics, or OB, involves care during preconception, pregnancy, childbirth, and immediately after delivery. Obstetricians provide specialized medical care during pregnancy and birth. Check the baby's growth and also the position. Contact or refer mommies for routine tests and checks. They also help mommies prepare for labor and birth. Hi girls, you are probably nervous and scared with what we've discussed today. But don't worry, it is something that every single girl goes through. And in preparation for that, today I'm going to teach you how to use sanitary pads. We will be needing underwear and a sanitary pad of your choice. Step 1. Remove the pad from the wrapper. You may want to keep it later to dispose of. Step 2. Remove the thin sticky strip from the back and place the pad on your underwear. Step 3. Change your pad every few hours or when it's soaked with blood. Never ever throw a pad in the toilet or anywhere. Step number 4. To remove, just pull the pad of your underwear. Number 5. Wrap used pads in the wrapper or toilet paper and throw them in the trash. Pads come in different sizes. They can be thin for when you're not bleeding much, you may use panty liners. Regular or thick for heavier bleeding, we have the maxi 
or super pads. You can use whichever kind feels most comfortable to you. You have just learned the science in menstruation. Remember learners, you should not make fun of the terms that refer to your reproductive system. For girls, your period is your body's way of releasing tissue that is no longer needed and these changes are preparation into becoming a mother in the future. We have given the privilege and the responsibility to carry such an important role in humanity. So let's take care of our reproductive system. Once again, this is Teacher Love and Teacher Clarissa. And if you want to keep learning with us, be sure to subscribe on Depend TV official Facebook and YouTube account. Thank you for watching! Join us again next time for another meaningful Sci-Hub experience. Only here on DepEd TV, where learning science makes sense.